But before you could get with uh, the, the team with Rude, you had to do the, the heel turn. And yes. That was, um, that was pretty big at the time when you took that briefcase from Paul Jones. Yeah, you know, I actually, I, when he came and approached me that, I was like, oh, dude. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wahoo's well, back, baby. So when I came to the territory, NWA, Mid-Atlantic, right, Wahoo was heel. And when I pop popped in, when they first flew me in, we did TV, and Wahoo was killing everybody with a chop. When I came in, Wahoo chopped me, and I didn't, I just stood there. And poof, it just took off. And then I said, oh, payback. Now you're a baby. I get to beat you up as a heel. So I was all for it, because then, hey, Wahoo, payback. <laughs> Time for me to kick your butt. <laughs> you're going to sell now, right? So that that's was one of the main reasons I went with it. Then, of course, you know, it was kind of fun. I wanted... I love Jimmy Valiant, respect Jimmy Valiant, but I can't do a stop. You know, and then once that we did the turn and everything, I had to lay ground rules down for Jimmy. Manny don't play PP on Manny. Stick your thumb in Manny's butt. Those are no-no. Manny don't play clown. I'm not a clown. I don't do clown spots. And I said, oh, bully woolly baby. Oh, bully woolly baby. Come on, bully woolly. No, Jimmy, no. <laughs> What was, what was the heat like in the arena, though, when you, when you oh, brother. took the briefcase? When I took that briefcase, I was walking back. Like I said, I just heard that one man. But then people, the worst thing in pro wrestling back in the day was silent heat. Because you didn't know what they were going to do then. And when I did that, boom, and then when they saw the shock of it and I walked back, you could drop a pin in here. And I was like, oh, no. Because I know about silent heat. All of a sudden, whoosh, like a damn... A tidal wave just hits you with all come rushing now. I was like, just get back in the dress. <laughs> What's the wildest thing I guess you saw in the crowd happen on one of the shows? What I did on? was Ricky Morton. Yeah. Ricky Morton was a little good white meat baby face guy. And we were working on that arm and they, everybody saw it from TV when we did that. And we did a show up in Tennessee. Now, where was it? Uh, uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. And you know, they're from Tennessee, right? And the first thing we did was go back to that arm and started that arm, which is logical. You've got a hurt arm, we're going to go after it. And then people were like, oh, no. And then I'm looking up, and pretty soon the railings, like the people are crowding the ring now. It's like they're moving their chairs up, and the railings are coming in. And I got Ricky Morton up being in, and then I see them all like this. Then you just got them hooked, and you look, and you see the people's faces in their eyes. They're, they're like, hey, dude, these people are about to riot, man. Get up and do something. Get your butt up and do something to duck this in me. And Ricky lays back there and goes, no, not yet. <laughs> and I'm going, dude, this place is going <laughs> to, these Tennesseans are getting pretty angry at us here, bud. Come on, come on, and fight back. No, not yet. And pretty soon, you know, people were right up to the apron. And Rude's looking like this. Oh, Lord. People coming up to the apron. And I'm jerking Ricky up, and he's staying down. I'm get up. Get up, dude. <laughs> And I said, dude, we got to do something before we end up with all these people in this ring. <laughs> then he goes, okay, <laughs> that's heat. Yeah. yeah, that's heat. Especially in Tennessee, and they were from Tennessee, you know? Mm -hmm. And then people were taking that serious. But you got to be you got to be physical. And that's what we were, we were being physical. It's just like Oli and Arn, I mean, Oli and Gene used to do. It's just like that. But, you know, people, they love Ricky Morton. Same thing would happen if it would have been Magnum. That even would have been hotter. That heat, that silent heat right there would be scary. Because them women love him so much, you don't know what they carry in them purse. <laughs> he never know what they got in that purse. Pull out a bazooka and shoot you or something. Right. <laughs> Place I seen a woman in Wilsboro, North Carolina, well, I was told about it, is took a straight razor and cut Mulligan, Blackjack Mulligan. When they started a little riot there, Blackjack was Rufus R. Jones. Going on with Rufus R. Jones, and she slashed him, he had 87 stitches from a straight razor. That's why, you know, you, you got to watch your people. You got to watch your back. See, one thing about back in the day, we watch each other's back no matter. When you went outside, something happened, you, you know, deals like, deals like the, you know, you kayfabed them. You spoke your language, kayfabed them. You spoke corny to the, to the wrestler, tell them, deals like, watch, you know, watch your back. Boom, boom, boom. Duck him and knock this guy out. <laughs> Which I did one day with Wahoo. When the guy was getting too close to Wahoo and, and he was, I was here on Wahoo, but he hated Wahoo and, and was calling him Squahoo and everything. So I uh, shit can Wahoo by my, you know, we get it. Heat of the match and just threw him outside. And the guy got right up on the railing with a big megaphone and was acting like he was near Wahoo. When I saw him do that, I just said, Doc. And when he did, I plastered that megaphone into his mouth. 
<laughs> not busted up all his mouth and stuff, you know, just to get him away from Wahoo. And the guy, this was so funny is <laughs> the guy even called himself afterwards. He goes, it's all right, Manny. He ducked. <laughs> So this, was, this was like a common occurrence. I mean, this happened yeah. pretty often. The guys yeah. nowadays don't really, guess, no. they can't appreciate what you guys actually went through. Yeah, um, they can't appreciate that. that we, you know, when we went out there and some of these uh, spot shows, we call them, little town halls, armories and stuff like that, it was a dangerous environment. These people believed in so bad, they'd, they'd bring their pocket knives or straight razors, whatever. So I, I got whacked by an 80 year old woman with a cane one time. She had a steel cane and hit me so that gun hard. I was like, hot, dang. And I showed Rudy, said, look, it's a welt. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, it's, it's, they're saying that the business is entertaining, they don't, it's entertaining. That's what they see, oh, it's, it's entertaining. They took that, that suspense away from it, you know. So that's, I guess people don't do it like they did. Hey, yo, say hello to the bad guy. And I'm smarting you up. You want to check out Title Match Wrestling. All the cool cats are.